Tom Mitchell, BloodHorse.com. I'm here today with Phil Ronick, who is the general manager of Winding Oaks Farm. And uh, today, Mr. Ronick has overseen the dispersal of the Eugene Melnick Racing Stables. Uh, so first of all, fill us in on how you think it went. You had a million dollar horse. Everything else looked very strong. I thought it was I thought it was a good sale. I think some people get some very good buys amongst some of the two year olds that didn't have a you know, have a chance to get trained like I thought they were should have. But, you know, the good horses, Mr. Melnick has spent years in the breeding and raising of his stock and doing the proper job and I think it paid off on the horses that showed they can run, had the pedigree and the other ones they you know, they are what they are. So. And certainly uh, nothing else, this will be opportunity for other people to get these horses in other hands and see how they do with them. Yes, exactly. And, you know, I think, like I said, I think there was a lot of good buys in there for people. Uh, we put a lot of blood, sweat, and tear into these horses that we've sold. Uh, I'm going to seriously miss them, and I know Mr. Melnick will. And uh, we'll just go on from there and see what happens. And can you give us an update on the status of the stallions and the farm itself? The stallions will stay at the farm until the November sale, mixed sale, and they'll probably go on that sale, along with, you know, probably a couple other horses or so. And right now there's some lookers at the farm, but that's that's all we have so far. So we're going to we'll hang on to the farm until we get a buyer or whatever happens. Well, certainly uh, it's the end of a pretty long tradition with Mr. Melnick, and uh, I think a lot of people are going to be sorry to see him get out of the business. I'm sure they have. I've had those sentiments ever since I got here Friday, you know, everybody hates to see him, an owner of Mr. Melnick's status, get out of the business. Uh, he's been good for the business for 15, 20 years, and you know, who knows, maybe he'll bounce back in a year or two. You never know. Listen, thanks a lot, best of luck to you. Thank you.